Okay guys, today we're talking keto at Buffalo Wild Wings and what you can eat. Coming up next. Okay, before we get started, be a Keto Maverick by subscribing. Also check down below in the video description, grab yourself a copy of free cook, a free cookbook for keto that I'm giving away to my subscribers. Uh, I'll also provide a link to a uh, quick uh, PDF or a file that you can access with this information on if you're a Buffalo Wild Wings, so you can access that. Because when you're out and about, obviously, uh, you're trying to grab some fast food. You don't want to make that mistake if you are trying to be in ketosis, if you're following a keto diet, and you're like, man, I just got to grab something, or you're just eating some fast food, right? So uh, let's get right into it really quick. Here's going to be a quick video. Um, Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm basically just going over the sauces. So obviously, you can get a burger with no bun, those types of things that they have, uh, salads. Uh, maybe their slaw, I think it's around seven grams of carbs. However, let's just talk about the sauce. Let's talk about the wings in general. So if you go traditional wings, and this is based on snack size. Uh, obviously, if you go with like a medium size, you're just gonna add a little bit more carbs, probably almost double the carbs, okay? Uh, no sauce, you can get, so you can get your traditional wings, no sauce, and you're gonna have no carbs, and they're gonna have around 20 grams of fat. So it's that good fat that you're gonna be able to stay full with if you eat those. Um, you know, because typically if you're doing like chicken breast, something like that, there's just no fat in it and you're starving, right? So, but with the wings, you are going to get your fat, okay? Um, and what you want to start off with, if you look, dry seasonings are all going to have one carb. So all the dry seasonings, unless they come out with uh, something new, are going to have one carb. Uh, but all the basic dry, dry seasonings, one carb. However, Desert Heat and Chipotle both have one gram of sugar. So if you're trying to avoid sugar, stay away from those two, Desert Heat and Chipotle, okay? Um, and then if we go over here to the regular sauces, the lowest carb count is going to be your medium and your mild uh, sauce. There's around one ounce is what they put in the snack size. So uh, with the medium size, if you got like a big helping of it, obviously you double that, okay? Um, two carbs, you're looking at hot and spicy garlic. I love the spicy garlic myself and the, the medium. So um, three carbs, wild and Parmesan uh, garlic, okay? And then four carbs is your blazing and your Thai curry. And five carbs is your hot barbecue sauce. Um, so you can stick with any of these, really. I mean, obviously, if you're doing a five carbs and you did a medium, now you're going to be pushing 10 carbs. So if you're trying to stay under the 20 carbs for the day, that could start to get you up there. So, uh, you know, but if you stick with any of these, you're going to be good to go. You're going to get yourself a nice... Um, medium-sized wing, uh, traditional wing, okay? Also, keep in mind, if you're adding blue cheese, ranch, that's going to add, you know, roughly another carb or two, just based on how much you're dipping it, so just be careful with that, okay? Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Simple video. This is part of my new series I want to provide about fast food topics, um, kind of hitting each fast food restaurant, showing what you can eat, what's great, um, you know, for each place, okay? So that's it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.